Oops, I don't think it's. Just go to your web browser and go to kpets.com. Once you get there, your username is actually your email address that we set you up with. We'll enter your email address and the password. The password would have been emailed to you, um, but if you've lost it, you can always use the option there, I forgot my password, and it will email you your password. Put in your password and sign in. I don't want to save my password there. The thing I'm going to do is look for the date that I did my service and click on that date. And then under project, you'll see the options that you can choose from. We have adults, children, elderly, and other, all with options underneath them. Choose which one is most appropriate for what you did for that day. I'm going to choose adult. OT and PT. I'm going to click on that. And now beneath that, my task I choose where I did this. And I did it at a hospital. And you'll see that all the hospitals, schools, and um, colleges, and uh, hospitals, yeah, um, are listed first. And then the name of it. So I'm going to put in one hour, and I saw five people, and I traveled 16 miles. Five comma sixteen person comma number of miles and I hit enter time. If I want to enter another one, I go to that date and I'm going to choose another option. I'm going to go down here. Let's see. Okay, if I go to a school, I worked with some kids, children, and I did one hour. Oh, and I got to put in the task. Let's say I served six kids, comma, well, three miles. And now if I go up here to tasks, I'm going to start typing school. And it brings up all the schools. If I keep typing, it's going to narrow it down to where I went. Or I can just scroll down and look for it. And I'm going to choose this one. And hit enter time. So that enter that one. Let's go to the 11th. Let's say I did a, a booth. I'm going to go down to other. That I was staffing a booth. I'm going to go to other. And then I'm going to choose staff. Yeah. You can see there, there's all kinds of options there for non-visit related type things. And I did hours. I might have talked to, you know, 20 or 30 people, somewhere around there. So I'm going to put in an estimate comma, and then how many miles I traveled. So it's always number of people served, comma, number of miles. I'm going to enter that time. So that one's recorded. Now, if I want to edit, I just have to scroll down a little bit. And if you can see, as I hover over that, it'll bring up the edit key. Edit, and I'm going to change that. Let's say I only did one hour, really. I enter that. And again, if I scroll down, I can see that it's there. One hour in a booth. There's the trash can, so I can also delete that entry. And it prompts me if, I, if I'm if i sure. So I did want to delete that. I really didn't do that. So we're going to take that out. And then what you can do is you can actually see all your hours recorded. If you go to the recording key, click on you can do for the year, or you can put in specific dates. So let's just say I want to see for this month what I've done. So I'm just going to go to the 1st, February, and to the last day of February is my end date. Bring back to the last date of February, and I'm going to hit update report. I'm going to do by person because I see everybody. But if I do update report, what will come up for you is just a list of all your hours, similar to what mine looks like. But like I said, I get to see everybody. Um, so there it'll show the different jobs that you've done. And you can actually print that report out and see what it looks like. And you can check yourself. Um, and then if you want, you can just go right back to your time card there again. And add some more information and 
basically remember that there's all these different options that you can use with all the subcategories under it. Just enter another one here. You scroll down, you can see hospices listed all together. Schools are listed all together. Right now I'm just typing SD and it's going to bring me anything that has SD in it. And if I keep going SDA, it narrows it down to what has SDA. Um, so you can kind of search for things that way. Schools, and I think colleges are all listed with college and then the actual name of the college. So again, you can just get all the reports you need up there or go to your time port. Oh, another thing, over here on the right-hand side, if you've gone frequently, will be listed there. And if you click on them, it automatically fills in that information for you. What you have to do is put in the time and your, um, again, people, comma, miles, comma. And that's pretty much everything. And you can just log out. And thank you for listening, and we appreciate you logging your hours. Thanks a lot.